This coffee table is also a desk. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here, and I've got this coffee table here. It's beautiful. It looks like a cardboard box just wrapped in tape. That's because it is. That's how it comes shipped. Haven't set it up yet, but have it in front of this couch here. Now, what's interesting about this table here is it's got a cantilevered type of top. So not only is it a coffee table, but you can potentially use it to work on. We'll see if it gets that high. But basically, I wanted to go ahead and get it unboxed so we can get it set up and check it out. All right, got the box unpacked. There really isn't that much to it. Now, I will say this brown it's like camouflaged against my floor there. So we have kind of these rectangles. I think those side pieces, we have some of these crossbars. We have the cantilever parts right there. I think these are gonna be side panels, top. So it doesn't really look like there's too much to it. I do have the instructions here. So I'm gonna read through those and start putting it together. Okay, step one is finding six and seven. This is the six board. And basically there are four little holes in each of these sides. And you're going to put these cantilever pieces and install those and this one, they're gonna kinda angle down and the open side of the bracket is gonna be up. So this little basket of hardware here. All right, I've got those latches installed here and now I've grabbed the number one piece. There's actually two parts to the top of one and then that smaller piece because that will be the bottom. And so you can see here on one side, we have some little pre-drilled holes here. And so we are just going to install these on the sides here. So you are just gonna screw it down with what you have left of those G screws. So, all right, my advice is it probably helps to have someone holding that up while you are screwing in the screws to hold it in place, but I didn't, so I kind of used this ottoman here to kind of brace them up. Now, what you want to do is we want to complete the box that this table will sit in, and so we are going to put on sides to these two short pieces here, and that means that you are going to have to find these number four boards. Now, there are actually two of them, and what you can see there is that we have holes on the side here, so you are going to use the D screws, grab those Ds, and, and use these to bolt this panel right to these smaller boards. Now, just as a quick heads up, I don't know if mine are mislabeled here, but they say D to install there. But I was looking at the D screws and mine are like those feet that will go on the bottom here. So I don't know if they just got mixed up on mine, but what I think they are are the E screws. And you can see we have a little flat piece up here and they're about an inch and a half long. So these are the screws that we're actually gonna use. All right, now again, I wish the instructions were a little bit better, but I hopefully will save you from making the same mistake I just did. So these panels that go on here actually have holes that go on the bottom. Now what you might be able to see here is that the holes in the panel, which are gonna attach it to the bottom board, are up here. So I actually need to pull these off and then flip them over so that I've got the holes in the bottom. So just make sure when you put on these side panels onto the cantilever top that the holes are on the bottom. And so you will take this big piece, which is the bottom of the box here, and I believe that where you have these holes that are drilled through, and that's it, is the top side. And on the bommet side, you have these holes with the nylon grommet. So basically what I wanna do is flip this down like this. And now you will see that you have holes that go around the edge, but you have these about two thirds of the way through. So you have a hole here and a hole here. And that's because the cantilever desk portion is gonna go here, but you're gonna have this open area, the smaller area right here. Now you are going to install this number five piece over here, and the way you're going to do that is put this on the outside. Now, there are these open holes here where you're gonna have one of those cam and lock type of situations, and then you have these nylon grommets which are gonna be on the outside. So basically, what you wanna do is put these like that because I think those nylon grommets are gonna hold the little nylon bag on outside. And then you're gonna use the rest of those screws to bolt this all together. All right, now that I've got this side panel put on here, I just have to go ahead and lower it on top of the piece that we already made. Actually, it's gonna be a little easier to close this up, compress this down so it's flat, and now you can just put it on the floor and then bolt this piece on. All right, got the bottom on here. Now we actually have to put the metal base on. So we have these eights, which are these squares that will go on the sides, and then we have the two crossbars that will go from the tops here these top corners across, and that will also bolt to the bottom of the box there. So in this case, and I think this bag is marked correctly, you're gonna use these A screws to bolt the bars, the crossbars, through right here, and then we will attach it to the bottom. 
All right, now that it's getting a little simpler here, I'm just gonna put this onto the bottom. I don't think it matters the direction. And then we are gonna use, and I think this is marked correctly, the B screws. So you're just gonna screw those through the holes and the bars into those nylon grommets on the bottom here. So we'll get that done. And then you want these little rubber feet and you'll screw into the bottom of the post right there. We're getting close. This other little side piece, this top, will be installed with these little posts and cams here. And you can see we have these little nylon holes there. So you will put the posts into the nylon holes and then we will attach it to the rest of the table with little twist lock cams here. Now we just need to install this pocket here using the two remaining screws. Just screw those into little grommets. All right, so I've been using this coffee table a little bit and I wanna give you some of my thoughts. First of all, I think the design of this with this deployable top is not necessarily new. You can get these in kind of high-end pieces of furniture. I went low end. The other thing I will say is you want to be careful about your dimensions. I was pretty careful about buying this one because it was exactly the dimensions I needed, but some will have a higher lift. Some will have a deeper top. Some will be wider. Some will be full wood to the floor. There's kind of a couple measurements here the bottom to top, and then the bottom to deployed top. So you kind of want to make sure that you understand all that. This finish here is kind of this oak, kind of looks like my floor here, but it's just like a laminate, like a formica. It's just on that MDF board. In fact, it's pretty easy to break. It's kind of like Ikea furniture. You know, it looks pretty good. Pretty basic metal frame bottom here. And it's a little bit more than a yard across. It has some storage here. So you can put some stuff here. I'm actually thinking of using this in my office, putting my printer here, putting my extra paper there. I like this little pocket here. You could put magazines or something if you wanted to. Stuff that you want at the ready. So this is really good because it doesn't move when you deploy this table. So if you had things like drinks or something like that, if you're using it as a coffee table, you don't want them to fall off, then this is really nice because this stays stationary. Now this is the piece that deploys here. Now one of the things that I was worried about is deploying this and then compressing it back. Is the table going to be heavy enough that the whole thing isn't going to tip over? And I don't think that's really a problem. But when you do deploy this, you have space in here to put more stuff. So especially if you're going to load that up with books, extra Xerox paper, those kinds of things, it's going to help keep it stable. Now, one of the things I want to show you here is that there is quite a bit of resistance when you deploy it, and especially when you compact it back down. So if I'm just sitting here and I want to deploy it, it's not that bad. You just kind of have to push it up, and you can see that the sides aren't perfectly synced up. So it does kind of come up a little awkward. Now, it's going to cheat to whatever side you're pulling on, but once you get it up past the first few inches, then it seems to ride out pretty good. And then when they both get deployed fully, then it's nice and flat up here and is remarkably stable. I mean, it does have a little bit of a wiggle there, but I would be happy to put a laptop or a drink or books or something like that down here, and I wouldn't worry about it. And especially now pushing it back, what I want to show you is I've actually got to put my foot right in here in this case because pushing this back, if I don't, it's going to push the whole table back. So the, the compressing it back down is actually a little bit tough. And in fact, you have to push it all the way down. At no point does it want to snap back down into place. So I want to redeploy this. And you can kind of see it, how it wiggles there a little bit. Redeploy this. And now I want to show you that we have a compartment in here where you can store a bunch of other stuff. You want to make sure that you don't put it right up against those hinges. But you could put a folded blanket, magazine, books, candles. I mean, you could put a lot of stuff in there. It's pretty large. Now, one of the things I want to show you here is that does this work as a desk at your couch? Well, I would say that if I sat here and put a laptop and sat right on the edge of my couch... Yeah, this could work. I would say it's probably not ideal. What I really think this height is good for is if I just pull it back a little bit like this and I'm sitting on this couch, this is perfect for putting up a drink. You know, you can reach down here like a regular coffee table and grab your drink. But up here, it's just so much more convenient. You can kind of lounge, sit back, grab your drink, grab some snacks. So I really think this coffee table is meant more for serving up convenience to armchair quarterbacks, sports fans, movie watchers, those types of things, as opposed to being high enough to sit here and say, I'm going to work. Because really, honestly, I think you'd want it a little higher and almost maybe a little farther back too. But, you know, like I said, I can sit under here and this works, but I really have to sit on the, the front half of the seat cushion right here. I can't sit all the way back. Otherwise, I'd be way back here and I'd rather have the laptop right on my lap right here. You could do it in a pinch, sure, if you wanted to lean forward like this. But I like it. 
Now, I've got to remove all these little stickers here because they are pretty obvious, but it's actually a little tough. Got to hook my feet under here. Maybe putting some extra weight in the coffee table is going to help when you're pushing it down. Maybe the springs will loosen up a little bit over time, but lifting it up is pretty easy. Pushing it back down takes a little bit of doing. And especially if you're on a hardwood floor like this, you might want to put like some felt pads or something under there just to make sure that they don't scratch your floor. But this is what it looks like. I like it. It's pretty cool. It's pretty clever. And in most cases, if you're just using it as a coffee table, it's got a pretty nice modern shape, but rustic look to it. So I really like that. Now, I will say that this was one of the cheapest ones I could find because I'm a pretty cheap guy. So if a deployable coffee table slash table or slash desk is going to make your couch surfing a little more enjoyable. I'll put a link to this one in the description below. Peter Von Panda out. We can discover more and explore so much deeper. We can live better than ever things to Peter. Peter Von Panda.